It's only you when it matters. What is up, my boy, Rachel Warriors? Welcome back to another video, another vlog. It is early for a student, anyway, in the design school. Got a crack on some work. Got a busy day. Got some coffee and some water to start off, and I'll catch up with you when we grab some food. something. We had that mackerel like Thai salad with avocado and olive oil and all those good fats in there. I think I'm a little bit hungry now. I'm gonna head back, grab some food and also coffee. We will never pick ourselves up and finally home, we've finally got food, we've got more coffee, which I just had there, I had some coffee in Brazil, that's why I was waiting for my food to cook. Now I have that chicken winter soup, got lots of winter veggies in there, like swede, celeriac, parsnip, potato, beetroot, um, and then I've got a bunch of frozen chicken that I just threw in with some cabbage. It's one of those just like kind of warming winter meals. You may notice something different about today's lunch, and that is there's actually some carbohydrates in there. And that's because I've kind of made a little bit of a shift in how I'm approaching this cut. I'm not quite carb backloading as much because of how I'm training now. I'm only getting one post-workout meal. I kind of worked out from counting calories with these vlogs that I'm actually only getting like 100 grams of carbohydrates post-training, maybe 150 grams for the day, and I'm doing high volume, high rep work, and it's just not enough. And I've been feeling a little bit fatigued the past sort of week, struggling through my workouts a little bit, and when I thought about it and I assessed it, I kind of realized that I'm just not getting enough carbohydrates. I have earned my carbs and I'm owed extra carbohydrates. So my plan is to stick to the high fat, low carb breakfast that you saw earlier, that mackerel and salad, etc., that sort of thing. Then for lunch, I'm gonna have like 80 to 100 grams of carbohydrates pre-training. On rest days, it'll be less. And then post-training, 100, 120 grams of carbs again. So we're shooting for like 200, 250 per day when we train. I've only done it for the past few days, but I'm feeling a lot better already. I had a really solid session yesterday, felt super strong, had good stamina throughout the session, so I'll be interested to see what this does to body composition. Anyway, that is enough rambling. I feel like I haven't really spoken to you today because I've just had to go ahead and get a load of work done. I'm gonna eat food, catch up on YouTube comments, catch up on the Facebook group, which, if you haven't joined already, is in the description down below, that I think it'll probably be kind to go and train. It's now 20 past five, time to go and train, but first we need to grab that pre-workout shake again. A little bit different this time, but it'll be in the description down below for the full recipe mix of what I'm using. We are back in the gym for a fun, explosive leg session. Enjoy. ridiculous so I thought I'd add a little bit of commentary to add some context to what you're seeing so I just wanted to update you on my one arm handstand progression 
So this is now maybe two to three weeks of pretty consistent training with the one arm handstand. I'm slowly starting to get that weight shift um, from arm to arm, although my right is definitely better than my left, which you're about to see in the actual uh, raw footage. I do definitely need to improve my lateral flexion in the handstand and use my legs more to shift over because at the moment you'll see here I'm kind of pushing myself over with my hand which is just not good practice. Um, my legs should be more like this position which is really just showing you how it's done. After I did my explosive leg session I jumped into the gym for a quick 20 minute 30 minute uh, mobility session focused around the middle split. So I thought I'd share that with you. I'm using my middle split routine that I have a whole YouTube video on. I'll post that in the description down below. What I have added to these Taylor Post holds that you'll see here is I'm doing a little bit of PNF. Um, so I'll be hold doing 10 seconds where I'm squeezing my glutes and really trying to bring my knees to the floor and then five seconds relax. And I'll repeat that for four to five reps after my initial 10 reps with the weight on my knees. I think you'll see better in this view, like how much of a difference there is between when I first start and then when I've done the PNF, like my knees are pretty close to the ground or close enough to get benefits for it. I'm pairing these tailor poses with some horse squats. Um, I'm using just an 18 kilo kettlebell here I actually prefer to do these horse squats with the weight in kind of a sumo deadlift position. Um, I've seen people like hold it up by their chest or on their back, but for me, I find that holding it in between my legs in that sumo position actually helps me get down a lot lower, maybe because of the counterweight, I'm not really sure, but I feel that I can get a better use of the actual exercise. And then finishing up 10 reps and then about a 10 to 20 second hold on that last rep in the bottom position. Then I moved on to my middle split isometrics. Uh, this first set here is just kind of a warm up set. I don't go down too low, I don't make it too intense. I'm just kind of trying to loosen up those muscles and get used to that position. I found that if I do add some warm up sets, then I feel less like my hips are just gonna rip open when I'm doing these particular exercises. Uh, just moving up and down. And then I also like to do these kind of like pseudo straddle up pulses just to get those muscles firing for the actual size bits. I did experiment with just trying to do some middle split isometrics where I'm kind of going down an eccentric onto um, something without actually using my hands as assistance at all. So using this BOSU ball here, which is about 15 centimeters off the ground. And that's quite a happy position for me to like comfortably get into. After I do my like middle split isometrics, I also add like sort of 20 to 30 seconds of relatively passive work, just kind of getting a bit more comfortable in that position. Uh, this is the final set now, set number three, I think. And if you look at the position I end up getting into compared to maybe the first set, then the difference is pretty ridiculous. Um, the progress is still going strong with this. I had to take a couple of weeks off due to a little bit of a hamstring kind of tweak, but I'm back on it now, not feeling any pain, and I'm feeling pretty strong in this position. So hopefully going to get those middle splits relatively soon. After all that, I finished up with just some general mobility, so I'll leave you with that, and back to the vlog. from the gym, it's almost eight o'clock now, so glasses are on, the blue blocking glasses for all those who are asking. I put some rice on, we've got some leftover curry just to heat up, super simple, super quick. In the meantime, for some extra carbs, I've got some banana and also coconut water. Simple carbohydrates and then curry in 10 minutes. Also having one of these bad boys. There we 
we are guys, final meal of the day, a very carby lamb, um, Rogan Josh that we made yesterday, like a slow cooked lamb leg, with some rice, yogurt, lime pickle, mango, just all loads of good stuff, really tasty, really enjoyable food, and I'm from good ingredients. So you may notice this day has been a little bit different, if we look at the macronutrients it probably is like more like 40-40 fat to carbs and then 20% protein, rather than that 50 maybe 60% fat that I've been in the past few vlogs. I'm interested to see where this goes in terms of body composition and performance, but only time will tell. That has been it for this week, guys. If you enjoyed this video, then hit that thumbs up button and support the channel. If you have any questions or want to leave your opinion, do it in the comment section down below. I love hearing what you guys think, and I always respond to comments. If you have a friend you think would enjoy this series, then please share this with them. But that has been it for today, guys. Have a strong week. Peace.